getting back to the Eastern Conference Finals. So Giannis Antetokounmpo hyperextended his knee. We don't know what the future holds for him. There's uncertainty surrounding him and Trey Young for the Atlanta Hawks, who suffered a bone bruise in his ankle. So it poses the question naturally, which team can least afford to be without their superstar longer? The Atlanta Hawks with Trey Young or the Milwaukee Bucks and Giannis Antetokounmpo? And so I just raised the point earlier to start this show that a team's greatness is defined by the guys that surround the star player, not just the star player. But the reality is, even with that being true, I talked about how the universal maxim in the NBA is that stars win championships and stars win titles. Role players can get you games. AI can get you one. Allen Iverson can get you a game. But in a series like this, where only one team still has any star players remaining on the roster. Again, this is assuming Trey Young can't go for the Atlanta Hawks. Giannis Antetokounmpo can't go for the Milwaukee Bucks. We're seeing with the Clippers. Yes, Kawhi Leonard's been out. But Paul George is still a star in his own right. And he's been helping the Clippers make this a series. And because of that, Ultimately, despite the incredible performance that I saw from the Atlanta Hawks bench and their role players yesterday, and it was something special at State Farm Arena to watch yesterday, as much as I respect the Atlanta Hawks without Trey Young, I think that they need Trey Young more than the Milwaukee Bucks need Giannis Antetokounmpo. And this is why. We saw last year, technically, the Milwaukee Bucks without Giannis against the Miami Heat. He tweaked his ankle in game three. And in game four, when he did not play with their season on the line, Chris Middleton stepped up and took over the game, won it for the Milwaukee Bucks in overtime in game four in the bubble. And so Chris Middleton, again, as, as infuriating as it may be at times to have to root for him, and to follow him. He's one of those guys that can be a superstar in moments. Drew Holiday is a huge upgrade over Eric Bledsoe last year. Imagine if they had Drew Holiday last year in the bubble, as opposed to Eric Bledsoe, who was who was awful. And I like Eric Bledsoe, but I like Drew Holiday a lot more. Drew Holiday just dropped 33 points against the Hawks a couple days ago in Game 3. So we know... And we've seen him be a lot more explosive offensively than Eric Bledsoe. So that's what we know that the Milwaukee Bucks have, is two guys that, if need be, can take over a game. And without Trey Young and without Giannis Antetokounmpo, what becomes more important is is the scenery, where the game's being played. And that's why I think home court, without your superstars, is super, super important. You look at the Atlanta Hawks and the two games that they played at Pfizer Forum to start this series. They won game one, which was a huge compliment to them. But why did they win game one? Because Trey Young dropped 48 points, seven rebounds, and 11 assists in that game. And then in game two, when he didn't go off for that huge performance, they got blown out by 34 points, 125 to 91. Those were the two games that were played at Pfizer Forum. Now, I think if Trey Young is playing and is available, he can win one of these next road games. He can get you one of these road games on the road and away from home. So the difficulty is not that the Milwaukee Bucks are having to necessarily win a a game on the road. All they have to do is win both games at home. You're asking the Atlanta Hawks to have to win without Trey Young one, if not two games on the road without Trey Young. And that's why the Milwaukee Bucks, I think, can still prevail and would still be able to prevail even without Giannis is because of that home court. If it was the opposite and the Atlanta Hawks were the ones with home court advantage, I'd say they need, the Milwaukee Bucks need Giannis more. 
But because of the scenery, because of the environments in which these last three games would commence, would take place, you, you have to go with the team that's got home court. Listen, I love Lou Williams. I love Danilo Gallinari, John Collins, Herder, Reddish, Capella, the whole crew. With, with And by the way, Clint Capella made a shot behind the backboard yesterday. It, it reminded me of when Kobe with the Lakers was playing against a young Oklahoma City Thunder squad during the regular season. He took a bump from James Harden on the baseline, and he still shot it behind the backboard and make it. Clint Capella is a center who doesn't shoot the ball well, especially in a jump shot form when there's no defenders around him, let alone when he's got a immovable defender in the backboard, and he made that shot. Everything came into place for him yesterday. I don't anticipate that those guys and the Cam Reddishes and the Bogdan Bogdanoviches, those guys are going to be able to win a game on the road without Trey Young. I, I just don't see it. I think it's just far more likely that the Milwaukee Bucks can win two games at home without Giannis than it is for the Hawks to win one, if not two games on the road without Trey Young. Uh, I don't see that happening. I really don't.